Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sal Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 6 of the year 2022, endorsing the amended Gulf Cooperation Council Patent Law regulation, regulation. The law stipulates that the phrase competent authority means the ministry responsible for commercial affairs. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the commander of the National Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, to attend the final match of His Majesty the King's Cup that was held yesterday between Al Khaldiya Club and Israfa Club. Present were the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of attendees and fans. Upon the arrival of the National Guard, Commander, the royal anthem was played. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa crowned the winning team of His Majesty the King's Cup, Al Khaldiya Club, after beating Isra Fawa with penalties. His Highness extended the congratulations of His Majesty the King to Al Khaldiya Club, marking their victory, expressing his pride in attending the final match deputized by His Majesty, praising the royal support provided to the sports sector that contributed in achieving these results and enhancing the outstanding status of the kingdom on the international sports map. His Highness congratulated the Al Khaldiya team on the occasion of winning His Majesty the King's Cup for this season, stressing that this was a well-deserved victory after the team presented distinguished levels throughout the competition. He also congratulated the board of directors of the club for this achievement, praising the great efforts made by the club's management to prepare the environment for the team to reach the final match and achieve the title. His Highness also commended the good levels presented by Israfa club team throughout the competition matches, wishing them success in future participations. His Highness lauded the good organization and preparation for the final match of His Majesty the King's Cup. The National Guard Commander, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, congratulated the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Al Khaldiya Club, Mahmoud Janahi, the team's players, and the administrative and technical staff marking the club's victory in the final match against the East Rifa Club in His Majesty the King's Cup for the 2021 2022 season. His Highness praised the high levels presented by the team's players in the final match, lauding the efforts of the administrative and technical staff of Al Khaldiya Club. His Highness stressed that the high high competitiveness of the final match and the good spirits of the two teams reflected the outstanding levels of sports in the kingdom. Thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in addition to the follow-up of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to encourage clubs and raise the level of competition among them. His Highness wished Al Khaldiya Club further success. 
The representative of His Majesty, the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the qualitative leap Bahraini sports is experiencing is a result of the great support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness noted that the achievements of Bahraini sports during His Majesty's prosperous era placed Bahrain in an advanced status on various levels. He also hailed the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to Bahraini sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the President of the National Guard Commander, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the final match of His Majesty the King's Cup and for honoring the winners. His Highness hailed the support of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and founder of Al Khaldi Club, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He congratulated Al Khaldi team on their victory and praised the support of the club's board of directors headed by Mahmoud Janahi and the efforts of the team players. The administrative and technical bodies as well as the club's management. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also hailed the efforts of East Rafah Club in the final match, wishing them success. His Highness commended the distinguished administrative and organizational arrangements made by the Bahrain Football Association headed by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its second deputy chairman, Jamila Ali Salman. The meeting discussed uh, Decree Law 27 of the year 2021, amending some provisions of the Judicial Authority Law, which aims to develop the work of the judiciary by allowing courts to deal with the cases brought before them in languages other than Arabic, which is approved as an official language in courts. It also discussed amending uh, some provisions of the evidence law in civil and commercial matters in the presence of the Minister of Justice as Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. The meeting also discussed a decree law amending Article 1 of Law 28 of the year 2006 on the Future Generations Reserve. The Shura Council, headed by Chairman Ali Al Saleh, concluded its participation in the 11th Conference of the Association of Senates, the Shura Councils, and similar councils in Africa and the Arab world. And the Forum for Parliamentary Dialogue with Senates and Shura Councils in Latin America and the Caribbean that were held in Morocco. Al Saleh affirmed that Morocco was able to bring together parliaments from around the world and praised the outcomes of the conference and the Forum that focus on enhancing joint cooperation, especially in the development, economic, and commercial fields. He pointed out that these talks are important to enhance partnerships, which in turn strengthen parliamentary work and open the door for continuous cooperation. The conference also affirmed uh, the importance of boosting the achievements of sustainable development goals in line with the implementation of the 2063 agenda that uh, were approved by the African Union. The Minister of Information Ali Ramehi met at the construction site of the new news studio with a number of employees from the news directorate. In the presence of the Assistant Undersecretary for Radio and Television Affairs, Abdullah Khalid al -Dosiri. the Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the staff for their efforts in covering all national related events and highlighting the national achievements that were made during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, in addition to shedding light on the achievements of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also praised the development witnessed by the news production sector through focusing on highlighting national achievements and conveying a clear and true message in order to reach the society and GCC countries. The minister then held talks with the staff and exchanged with them viewpoints on how to further develop the department and wished them all success. The new state of the art studio is expected to be inaugurated in the second half of this year and is considered one of the ministry's most developed projects, which will include high quality equipment that cope with the rapid world development that will result in a quantum leap in news production in Bahrain. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,231,321 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,212,914 had taken the second, and 966,071 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 19,756, with 4,843 recoveries and 1,517 registered new cases. There are 37 active cases receiving treatment and 13 patients in critical condition. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.